Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness and today I'm going to show you how to do a TVA hold with the upper regional retraction control. So ultimately what we're doing is showing you how to control the scapular protraction or glide mechanics. Normally that would occur during the load bearing stage of your gait cycle. So the arm would protract, your shoulder would protract, arm would flex. Right now again, remember our traps that hold the shoulder back as we advance it forward are weak. So we don't have a good sense of control. So the idea here is that we're learning how to maintain the retraction or traction of the shoulder back so that we can control the dissociation, control the decoupling of the shoulder as it moves up. Okay, so that's really the intent behind this. And oftentimes because we lose our intra-abdominal pressure and tension, we start to hyperextend and the shoulders move back by the way of the lumbar hyperextension rather than the shoulder retractor. So again, we need to fixate at the lumbar to get full retraction control of the scapula as it advances overhead. That's the goal. So we're gonna be on the back. The ankle or the angle of the band is superior and inferior, so high in front of us or below us, I should say. And again, we're gonna pull back. So now we have a flexion force to resist or an internal force to resist. And we have a AD force to resist. So I'm abducting, externally rotating, and retracting the shoulders. And one thing you want to do is that you don't have to challenge my arms. So the idea here is that you bring your legs down to your lower back like to come off into extension, holding down on your tension, making sure the lower back stays neutral. And then you're going to glide the shoulders overhead and work on maintaining proper shoulder position against a properly fixated leg area. So once again, you're going to breathe all the air out, squeeze the pelvic floor down, press up overhead until you feel your shoulders want to move away from the spine or your arms want to rotate off the ground. So it might be less or more depending upon how much mobility you have. Now breathe in and inflate the canister without losing your lower back. And then drive the shoulders back down into the retracted position while keeping the ER rotation and the rest on the ground. So as you do that, you're going to be switching through your pec, both on the superior section as you bring the arms down and on the inferior section as you bring it up. And both of those muscles interact with the rib cage, asking it to overwhelm the abdominals. And that's what you're trying to um, stop or inhibit. You're trying to control that so that the drag of the tension of the shoulder joint by way of the linkage of the pec doesn't distort your trunk because you have proper stability and fixation from your abs. There it is. So if you lose your arch, if you start to lose the breath cycle, so when you breathe in, your abs expand, they distend, and then you get into a hyperextension. Any of that happens, you gotta stop. And again, coordinate the shoulder joint relative to the stability of the canister. So remember the priority is the stability and then the control of the arc of the glide based on the stability. So remember, breath out as you press up, breath in as you glide down, and don't lose the lumbar control, and then change the organization of the range of motion at the shoulder dependent on how well you can support the core. That's the gist. Questions on it? Admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Have some fun.